Hello everyone, my name is Helen and welcome back to this channel. This video is the third video of the series that I'm doing called How to Crochet with One Hand Using My Adaptive Crochet Device. If you haven't watched the first video or the second video, I'll link the videos in the card above me and also in the description box down below, so be sure to check it out. In this video, we are going to make the chain stitch as well as the single crochet stitch. Let's get started. If you hear any beeping noises in the background, it's because of our fire alarm. There's some problem with it, so yeah, I'm sorry. Anyways, back to the video. So right now, I'm just doing the slip knot for the crochet piece, and then I'm going to attach this to the hook and then start crocheting. I'm going to tighten it and we shall begin. So I have my slip knot on and I'm going to take the yarn that is attached to the ball. I'm going to take the yarn and from behind the hook, the crochet hook, grab it up and over to the other side. Now we have two loops. We are going to reference these two strings on the hook, the crochet hook, as loops. You are going to bring the loop up and across off the hook like this. So now you only have one loop and you have created one chain. Let's try the second chain. Grabbing the yarn from behind up and over to the front. Picking up the second loop, bring it up and over off the crochet hook. Bring it past the first loop and off the hook. You've created a second chain. Let's try once more. From behind, bring the yarn up and over to the front. So now you have two loops. Grabbing the second loop, bring it up and past the first loop and the hook. You've made your third chain. Now I'm going to keep going without stopping, but if you are confused, you can go back and watch the previous steps. Here I made a mistake. The best thing to do is to start from the previous stitch, the previous chain. So try to loop back to your previous uh, step. I will make a detailed instruction of this in my later videos. Now you're done your chains. Now I did not count how many chains I did, so I'm really sorry about that. It doesn't really matter at all. Around 10 chains is a good number. We are going to add another chain and that chain is going to help us do the single crochet. So now we are done with all the chains. Um, as you can see, there is this V-shaped like thing in the chains. Let me just zoom in a little so you can see the V shapes. It's hard to explain, but the center of the V shape, the hole, is one chain. Mm, I think I could explain it better. Anyways, we are going to insert our chain inside the hook, the second chain. So here is the first one. And we're going to skip that one. We are going to insert the second one. We are going to bring the crochet piece up to the hook and then slide it in the hook like this. And now we have two loops on our crochet hook. Taking the yarn, we're going to bring up and over to the front. Right now we have three loops. We are going to take the second loop and bring it up and across off the hook like this. And now we have two loops. Next, we are going to bring the yarn that is attached to the ball up and over to the front. Picking up the last two loops, we're bringing it up and over off the hook like this. 
So I redid the chain stitch because I didn't really like it. So what you're watching next is um, the new chain stitch. Just pretend it's the old chain stitch. Mm, yeah. Anyways, back to the video. So a change of camera placement, but we are finished with our first single crochet stitch. So now let's do the second one together again. So we're bringing the chain, like the whole of the chain into the hook. Now we have two loops. Taking the yarn attached to the ball from behind up and across to the front like this. There are three loops. We are going to take the second loop, pick it up, bring it over and across and off the hook. Now we have two loops. We are going to bring the yarn from behind again up and across to the front. Now we have three loops again. So now we're bringing two loops off the hook, the second one and the third one. So picking both of them up, we're going up and off the hook like this. Now you have finished another single crochet stitch. And on your crochet hook, there is only one loop now. Let's try one more time. So grabbing the chain, let's see where the hole is at in the next chain. Once you found the hole, feed the hook in the hole. Bring the yarn up and over to the front. Pick up the second loop and bring it off the hook. Bring the yarn up and over again. This time picking up two loops and bringing it off the hook. You have created another crochet stitch and you can see that there is a pattern starting to form. So now I'm going to zoom through it in real time, but if you are still confused, you can go back and watch the previous steps. So we're almost finished this row of stitches. We have one more to go. So let's just finish this row of stitches. Um, we just do the same thing as we did before. So once again, we are going to grab the yarn that is attached to the ball. From behind, bring it up and over across to the front. We now have two loops. Pick up the second one and bring it up and over off the hook. And you've created a chain. So now I'm just pulling on the crochet piece because we want space to flip it. So we're going to take the piece bring it off the hook and then flip it and then put it back in. So flip it and then put it back in the hook. If you are doing single crochet, then you are doing the same thing. So one chain and then flip it over every row. I will talk more about it on my next video. Anyways, it creates this beautiful pattern and I love it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video on how to start a crochet piece. On the fourth and final video of the series, we are going to do the second row of single crochet and beyond, which is like a repetition of the second row. And we will also learn how to end the crochet piece. By the end of this series, you will create a square patch. A finished square patch where you can hang it in your room. A reminder that, hey, you can crochet. Subscribe to my channel to get notified when my final crochet video is uploaded. Also click the bell notification to get notified. I wish you the best of luck on your journey to crocheting. If you don't get it the first time, try again. It's gonna be all right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye bye.